judgment. It gets my better, uh, gets my better deal here. We're going to take phone calls. Now remember, uh, I am in charge of this ring circus. I am the man that's causing the mercury to go up in this room. And like Mickey Mouse said, Oh, you ladies, you need to be chilled. Stand still. Oh, I'm going to pull the baby out of your vagina. Oh. Well, that's okay. going to pull a baby out. <laughs> well, you pull it out of their, pull out of their butt, you know? <laughs> I don't have to pull out of their, out of their, I think out of their vagina around their butt because that's a different kind of baby. Uh, line one. You're on the air. Talk to us. They remind me never to use you as a midwife. Okay. Hey, I'm wearing a very nice tie tonight. Are you? Uh, by Vincent Van Gogh. Really? Vincent Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh tie. If it's by Lay R. Okay. I read. Right. Vincent Van Gogh is one of your favorite artists. Is you it? talk about him all the time. Do I talk about him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on the air. I guess not. Okay. All right. No, no I saw all now. this art in Amsterdam years ago. Vincent. You're on the air. Speak. Yeah, George, um, how are you doing? It's good to see you back on again. I want to make a comment about the elections. Uh, as far as the elections are concerned, uh, I think John McCain is the most qualified because of uh, his experience, and also he seems to uh, be able to get it that you don't raise uh, taxes. That's going to hurt the poor, and I'll share something with you. You all would agree with this. When I was 18 and 20 years old before I you know, uh, was in the middle class, I never got hired by a poor person. It was the wealthy people that Obama wants to tax that will hire me. So in other words, if uh, Barack Obama gets his wish on raising the taxes, other younger people, people starting off, won't be able to have uh, jobs and uh, become successful like I am and um, make a decent living. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. That's your entitled to your opinion. And we all have an opinions, you know. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I will say to you in this regard, I think that the Republicans are notorious for using that tactic about the, what the Democrats are going to raise your taxes. You know, if you do economy one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm not, I just will we'll carry this conversation here. You know that basically that in order to, you have, you might raise some taxes, but in the process, what you're going to do there, you're going to lower the deficit that this country has been going under. We have a deficit under. Back, and Reagan was a great man, I'm not going to bash Reagan, but under the Reagan-Bush term, we had a high, high deficit, okay? The, the attentions are all well, but you got to go, you got to, you know, balance, you balance things out. You got to, you know, you got to maybe raise, I don't mind paying a little, some taxes, and, you know, and, and there's no way I'm making $300,000, I mean, you know, who is? And the way this economy is, I'd like to know who is. But you got to, we have to be concentrate on, Keep the taxes, like you said, but also lower the deficit. Well, let me tell you. And something. the way to do that is sometimes raising taxes. And you're right. And let me tell you something about when you're when you're in a, a war. We're still in a war. People they like to pretend that the war is not going on. It's still going on, and it's costing us a lot of money. And and you know, I hope it all comes to a, a good end and everything. But when there's a war going on, in every war we've ever had, we've never lowered taxes. We've always the the, the, the our soldiers deserve all all that's money and everything that's come to and all the expenses that a war costs and we're not going to give the rich people who don't you aren't even give a damn about the war right. uh a tax cut a, a, a reward okay you're on the air What's that? on the air no also it's, uh, that's kind of a, i i know that uh dillo head i mean ditto head that rush limbaugh always talks about that oh uh, poor people never pay taxes and only the rich people do well that's Oh, yeah. I can't believe that would happen. Ah, how are you guys doing tonight? Yes, sir. Hey, Kay, I was at the uh, Bruce Springsteen concert. I saw you saw you sitting down in the same section. It was a great show. I'm wondering you why said hello. you hello. It was great to see Bruce, and I'm glad, and, and you should have said hello, and I had a, a wonderful time, and thanks for... I was, I was wondering why you didn't sit next to George. Is it uh, because... <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> because George... George was there. Because, because, but thank you. Because George wasn't there. That's yeah. right. And if I was, if we were there, we'd probably, you know, be sitting up there and get some cold brewskis. But yeah. thank you for pointing that out. But no, I was not there. Yeah, so well, there thanks for. Uh, and next time anyone sees me in public, uh, just come up to me, shake my hand, give me a few dollars. Because <laughs> you know I have a MySpace page and a Facebook page, and I need, I need, I need to keep it going. Uh, I, was, I was unaware. I'm just kidding. You're there. Talk to us. Hey, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing fine. Comments or questions tonight about the election? Oh uh, yeah, I'm a comedy on the. What do you guys think about the onshore drilling uh, policies? I mean, offshore drilling policies. The the offshore, drilling, offshore drilling. Uh, you know, I, I think that 
I'm open to it, but I mean, I think that we need to just to, you know, consider right. about. Now, I think I'm, I'm open to it, but I just think yeah. there's too much talk about drill here, drill there. If right. I had more diplomacy, hold on a second. If, there, if, if we had a president that had more diplomacy, we wouldn't be, be paying all these absurd prices, uh, you know, for gas. You want to know one thing I love though? Oh, no. Uh, you're starting job. I know. Let me tell you something about offshore drilling. Offshore drilling, we're not going, I don't think it's the, I think we should get rid of gassing altogether and try to work on uh, on almost everything else, solar power, everything else, because, you know, we could tell the Saudis and all those other people, go to hell okay. and let them sit on their own. Well, for you, go to hell also, too. Because <laughs> guess what? All we got out of you was, <laughs> and it got chopped off like bad news. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's another call, then. No, that, that, actually, they were good calls. Good Thanks calls. for calling. All right. We've got about uh, three more minutes in the show, and we want to talk to you. This is uh, the Gorgeous George Show. GorgeousGeorgeShow.net. GorgeousGeorgeShow.net. And we also have the, that's the website. And Oasis Karaoke, serving the area in Richmond, doing private parties, doing all kinds of parties for you and yours at Oasis Karaoke. Um, it's going to be a great election. We'll have five weeks to talk about it. We've got more things coming up here. We have very, we have a, a, a very much a lot to talk about in a short time to do it in. And we're at a different time spot. But we'll get everything in. Prime time. We'll get everything squeezed in an hour and try to make it good and make it work. Why not? We'll talk to us. You're on the air. That's not? Okay, then bye-bye. Um, so that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I'm, you know, we've got a lot going on. Exciting year, election. We need change, not the spare change in our pockets, but change out there. Yeah. No doubt about it. Uh, you want me to talk to us? Danny Colbert here, only in America, could have shown this great with two fat guys. Okay. Too you know fat. what? Uh, your mom is fat, and you know what? She had you at the Sizzler, and now she needs to deposit you down the commode. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll take one more call to add to that. Uh, one more call, and that is it. And we're going to put it like Bonzo, bye-bye to bed. <laughs> One more call, you on there. Talk to us. Yeah, um, actually, we have increased revenue with the Bush tax rates. I'm sure the drive-by media won't tell you that, George. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Listen, uh, Mr. Henderson, I do appreciate your call, but I will disagree with you, and I respect you. At least you, Mr. Henderson, you call off the show, and you're dignified with your calls, and I'll, I'll give you that. Man. But anyway, the other callers can learn from you. But I disagree about your politics.